Welcome into the Triple Option presents the off season, where we're going through as many schools as we possibly can in the time allotted to tell you what went wrong or what went right with their off season, with their seasons, and how to fix them or how to continue to improve on them. Today we hit the Houston Cougars. What went wrong and how to fix it? Starting out, well, coaching. Dana Holgerson had just been too scattershot over his time at Houston. And the last couple of years, it just seemed like an emotional roller coaster when it came to he's mad at the roster, he's mad at the players, he's mad at the guys on the bench, he's mad at the coaching staff. He, you know, this didn't work out, that's not working out. Then all of a sudden, everything's good and everything's fine. But ultimately, it was just too much up and down for the Cougs, and Dana Holgerson had to go. Also, probably not a guy who in the modern era of college football enjoys negotiating with portal players and uh, NIL. Not really his thing. He's more of an old school guy, and he's moving on to the next thing. Still a brilliant coach, but really not the right guy for Houston at this time as they transition into the Big 12. What else happened? A portal exodus. You see here, this is Alta McCaskill. Does Alta McCaskill wear this uniform anymore? No, it is not. He went to Colorado. A lot of players left. They did not have a Big 12 ready roster in year one. Now, look, they had their moments. But to sustain Power 5 football, you need a Power 5 roster. And when you lose guys like Alton McCaskill and the like, and this year they've already lost Matthew Golden as well, he's in the portal, it is going to be tough to compete week in and week out with teams who've been doing it for much longer than you have. And finally, inconsistent QB play. Donovan Smith was... At times, really fun to watch and had some big moments where he kept him in the game against Texas, almost pulled off a big win there, pulled off a big win on the road in Baylor. But again, much like Dana Holgerson, just up and down and up and down and up and down was Donovan Smith. So how do you fix these things? Well, they've already done one of them. Welcome Willie French to Houston. He is the new coach. He comes in from Tulane where he has been dominant the last few years and can put his stamp on it. One thing you need about Willie Fritz, he wins. He's won everywhere he's been on every single level. The man knows how to win football games and will probably do so at Houston. He's also someone who you don't really have to worry about climbing the coaching ladder, so to speak, because he's 62, 63 years old and has designs on Houston being the last job he has before he hangs it up and heads to the golf course. Next, embrace your city. One of the things the other court uh, candidates for that job at Houston did, Jeff Trailer, he's still at UTSA, but he made UTSA the team of San Antonio. You need to make the Cougs the team of Houston. That way you've got local high school talent that wants to stay at home or when those kids from Katy and surrounding areas go elsewhere and they want to go somewhere else, maybe they get a little homesick. Hey, you know where I can win at? I can win at Houston. It's cool. I'll be close to home. I can get back together with my high school girlfriend. Everything will be back to normal and all will be saved if I just go home. But you need to sell Houston, a major city and a cool place to be embrace your market. That's what they need to do in the modern era of college football. And finally, get somebody to compete with Donovan Smith. This is James Madison quarterback, Jordan McLeod. He is in the portal. Now, by the time you watch this, he may be at Houston. He may be somewhere else. I don't know where he's going, but this is the kind of guy you can bring in to push Donovan Smith and create a bridge situation until you can find a quarterback of the future who's going to be with you for more than just a year. You've got to push Donovan Smith. He's got to have some kind of competition. And look, if he wins the job, that means he's the best guy on the roster. But you have to find somebody who can push him. That's going to do it for our wrap-up on the Houston Cougars. Please like and subscribe to the 365 Sports YouTube channel. We're going to keep throwing these at you all off-season long. This is 365 Sports. <laughs>